Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. kitchen of the Bloom flat, Mama is preparing the evening meal. Yetta is in the living room. Yetta! Yetta! What do you want, Ma? Come in, darling. Set the table for supper. Pop will be home in a minute. Oh, don't call it supper, Ma. It's dinner. And besides, I wish you wouldn't call me Yetta. Oh. I've asked you a million times not to call me Yetta. My name is Yvette. Yvette, Yvette, all right. Set the table for dinner, Yetta. Oh, Ma, you're hopeless. Well, I don't know if I'm hopeless or not. I know I'm busy. You know your papa. He takes off his hat. He wants to eat papa. Excuse me, dinner. Set the table now and don't slam the dishes. Oh, it wouldn't hurt him if he had to wait. Don't talk that way about your father, Yetta. Uh, excuse me, I mean Yvette. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, as long as you've changed your name, I think we should change our name. If yet is Yvette, my name is Becky, so I'll call myself Gwendolyn. And Papa's Jake, so we'll call him Mutterman. Oh, now you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. What difference is names anyway? I call it supper, you call it dinner. It's still potatoes, meat, and coffee. Uh, meantime, we ain't got the table set, so Miss Yetta, Yvette, Yetta, Yetta, let's set the table for supper dinner, huh? Oh, it's a shame we can't have a maid. Everybody's family has at least one servant. Mm. I'll bet you in the United States there are three or four families that haven't got a servant, maybe even five. Well, we could have one if you and Pa weren't so stingy. Stingy's one thing and money's another. Now, if I was Mrs. Vanderbilt, I could have seven servants, one for each day in the week. But the whole trouble is, Papa ain't Mr. Vanderbilt, so I can't be Mrs. Vanderbilt. Well, if you were Mrs. Vanderbilt, you wouldn't be cooking dinner. How do I know? Would you believe it? As long as Mrs. Vanderbilt's been in this country, never has she invited me to hear at her house. Not that I would go. Well, of course you'd go. I don't think so. What would we talk about, Mrs. Vanderbilt and me? Would she be interested in the way I stuff a goose? Or would I be interested in the way she cooks polo? Oh, Ma, you don't cook polo. Polo's a game. You a play game. it with horses. Mm-hmm. All right. You see, I told you we wouldn't get along at all, Mrs. Vanderbilt and me. So I made up my mind, even if she invited me, I wouldn't go. Well, if she invited me, I'd go. All right. You go and tell her I'm busy. She wouldn't know any different. Ah, wait a minute. Don't give your papa one of those little coffee cups. You mean a demi tasse cup, Ma. demi tasse, semi tasse. Don't give him one. Someday he'll swallow it. Besides, he don't like them. All right, Ma. Give him a big cup. He can afford it. When Papa wants coffee, he wants coffee and not samples. All right. <laughs> all right. And meanwhile, I helped you set the table, huh, while we're doing all this talking. <laughs> you ain't so dumb. What are we going to have for dinner? Well, if I told you pork, I'd be a liar. So I'll tell you hamburger steak. Oh, I don't like hamburger steak. I like steak. Yes, a darling. You take a dollar and you change it to pennies, it's still the same money. Don't forget that. So if you like steak, you like hamburger steak. Well, now, why do we have to have hamburger? Your papa likes it. Do you like it? What your papa likes, I like. Twenty-two years, you can't be married to a man and like different kinds of food. Papa likes hamburger. I like papa, so I like hamburger. In the movies, they call that love. Well, if papa's so crazy about you, it seems to me he would get a maid so you wouldn't have to work so hard. In the first place, I don't work so hard. And in the second place, What would I do with myself all day? 
And in the third place, I like doing things for your papa in the first place. But if you didn't have so much work to do, cooking and making beds and darning socks and dusting and things, well, you would have time for other things. What other things? Oh, lots of other things. Maybe I wouldn't like the other things. Besides, I told you, when I do something for your pop and he likes it, that's to me already our pleasure. If I cook him a meal, suppose I spend two or three hours. Papa comes home, he eats it. He says, Mama, that was a good dinner. <laughs> Believe me, Yetta, I Yvette, that's more fun than Mrs. Vanderbilt's polo to me. Maybe you're right, <laughs> Ma. Besides, your pop ain't got it so easy downtown. You gotta remember that. Manufacturing boys' knee pants ain't no better roses. And if he's willing to work downtown all day for me, why shouldn't I do a few things for him? Besides, business ain't so good anyhow. Even those who don't intend to pay ain't buying. Oh, I wish we were rich. I guess everybody wishes they was rich. But it don't do no good. Money you gotta work for, not wish for. Oh, well, if we were rich, we could have a beautiful apartment with four or five bathrooms. What's the matter with this house? There's worse places than this. And we need a new car, too. I'm sick of that old thing. The car's all right. It runs. You push something and it goes. Oh, it's two years old. Besides, we should have two cars. It's very inconvenient, Ma. Four in the family and only one automobile. You know yourself, lots of times when you and Pa want the car, Sister and I absolutely have to have it. Mm, maybe we should have four cars. Oh, I hate that old car and I hate our furniture and I, I hate this flat and I hate the neighborhood. Yetta, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why? It's a sin to talk like that. You don't know how lucky you are. Oh, lucky. Yeah, lucky. In this country, there are thousands of girls who'd be glad to trade places with you. Oh. And sh here comes Papa. Hello, Mama. Hello, darling. Hello, Yetta. Ah, 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 not Yetta. Yvette. Yeah. Well, sister. <laughs> she ain't home yet. But sit right down, Papa. We'll eat now. I can put something away for Sarah in the stove. It'll keep warm. Say, Mama, did I get a telephone call? No. How was business today, Papa? Uh, not so good. So it'll get better tomorrow. What's the difference? Every day can't be Santa Claus. Christmas, Mama, not Santa Claus. Christmas. But, Mama, I should get a telephone call. Take some potatoes instead. With hamburger steak goes potatoes, not phone calls. Hmm. Without phone calls, there won't even be hamburger steak. What's the matter, Jake? Nothing. You're going to tell me later. Why don't you tell me now? Mommy, you know that big order we sold for $26,319.75? You mean to Levine in Altoona? Yeah. Well, he's as good as gold, you know that. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have shipped it. Sure, I know. We looked him up. But I thought the check came in yesterday, less 2% discount. It did, and we deposited it. But today, I see in the paper that his bank failed. And if we didn't get the check in before the failure, it'll be two years before we get our money. But it ain't your fault if the bank failed. <laughs> that was Yvette talking. I yet have, but I had more sense, Jake. So if you don't get the money, what is it? Mama, if we don't get the money, we go out of business. But you'll get the money. If we don't, we won't be able to keep on. Uh, who's phoning you? Sam stayed down at the office. He's got a friend at our bank who's letting him know. And as soon as he knows, he's going to call me. But, Mama, I'm afraid it's no good. What'll you do then? What'll I do? <laughs> I'll have to get a job and start all over again. <laughs> well, we live once when you've worked at our sewing machine, Jack. I guess we can do it again. Yes, I guess we can. But it's not a very nice thing to think about. Don't think about it, then. In the first place, it ain't happened yet. And in the second place, I found out one thing in this life. Nothing is ever quite as bad after it happens as it looked like it was going to be before it happened. But I can't understand why Sam doesn't call. He'll call, he'll call. Don't worry. Don't worry, she said. Sure, besides, if it's good news, it's worth waiting a few minutes for. And if it's bad news, the later we hear about it, the less time we have to feel bad. But I can't stand the waiting. You know, it makes me nervous. Listen, there's people voice off in you are. Suppose the voice comes to the voice and you had to go out of business? Think of all the aggravation you'd miss. Instead of working hard all day and worrying all night and figuring out how to meet the payroll every Saturday, all you have to do is work all day and let the boss worry all night how to meet the payroll. You'll have to give up the apartment and get a couple of rooms someplace. We won't have to give up this beautiful apartment, will we, Pa? Mm, yes, darling, I'm afraid we will. All right, so I'll have less rooms to clean. And we'll have to move back to a cheaper neighborhood, like where we started from. I lived in that neighborhood once, and I can live there again. Besides, it's very sociable, this kind of a neighborhood. Instead of having only one other family on the floor, you have 12. Hmm. I think we'll have to sell our car, too. Sell our nice car, Pa? Oh, we don't have to do that, do we? So we have to sell the car. For pretty near 40 years, I rode in street cars and it didn't kill me. Besides, since we got the car, I'm getting too fat. Maybe it'll do me good to walk a little. But, Mama, you don't understand how I feel, having to give up the business. Jake, I understand how you feel. But still, you got nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, sister, and I'll die if this thing happens. 
If we have to leave this lovely apartment and sell our beautiful car and move to an old cheap neighborhood. Listen, Yetta. Every year, hundreds of girls die. And not one of them die from selling a automobile or moving to our smaller apartment. That's our disease that don't kill. Uh, oh. Jake, it's the phone. Answer it. <laughs> Mama, Mama, you answer it. I'm afraid. All right, Jake, I'll answer it. But remember, no matter what happens, it's going to be all right. Answer it, answer it, answer all it. Right, don't all stand right, all right, don't I can't get late, excited. Please. I'll catch it. Hello? Hello, Sam? Uh, this is Becky. How are you, Sam? I'm all right. Yeah, he's home. Well, uh, you can tell me. <laughs> he's a little nervous. Yeah. You hide from the man in the bank? Yes. 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 No. Oh. No. Oh, yeah, yes. Yes, I'll tell him right away, Sam. Yeah, goodbye. Well, well, well what is it? Don't stand there like a Jake, dummy. Tell me, what is Jake, it? What don't is get it? excited. You got a bad Bad heart. heart, bad smart. Tell me, Becky, what is it? Jake. The check is all right. The bank didn't fail. It was only a rumor. Oh, thanking God. Mama, mm. give me some potatoes. And everything's all right. Yeah, the check went through. Papa gets the money. And we're still in the knee pants business. And we don't have to sell a car or move or anything? Mm, no, my darling. Oh, gee, if you knew how I felt. Mm. Dieter, let this be a lesson to you, huh? The next time you don't like this flat, the next time you want a new car, the next time you hate this neighborhood, remember what a beautiful place this was. What a nice neighborhood we lived in. And what a shining automobile we owned when we thought we didn't own it. Yet, uh, if you ever want to find out how much you think of something, lose it for a few minutes. Yeah. I guess you're right, Mom. Take a little more hamburger steak, Yetta. Uh. But I don't like Yetta, it. Yetta, uh, remember five minutes ago when we didn't have it? Give me some more. Yeah, uh, that must be Sarah. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sarah, <laughs> darling. Hello, my Hello, Hello Sarah. Hi. Sit down and eat, darling. Sit down. What do we got for dinner? Hamburger steak. It's good, ain't it, Yetta? Yeah, it's well. Uh -huh.